Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Shift F3 and F4 key. Here's the scenario. You have a line of text that is all lowercase, and you would like to apply initial caps to it. Plus you have a table with text in a cell, and you would like to tab over within the same cell for many lines. Instead of hitting the control key and hitting the tab key over and over, just use those commands once and for subsequent formatting of the same type, hit the F4 key. Here is a line of text to which I would like to apply initial caps. First highlight the text, hold the shift key down and select F3. The text is now initial caps. If you continue to click shift F3, the next command will apply all caps. Do the same thing, Shift F3, and the text will revert back to all lowercase. Here's a tip. If you highlight the text that is currently lowercase, and you hit the Shift F3 key, and then hit the F4 key, by itself, it will repeat the last command and therefore the text will be all caps. Now let me show you more about the F4 key. Here is a table with some text in some cells. If you want some of the text to be indented, for instance, the mean, standard deviation, median, and range under the age and years, and also the male and female under gender. So instead of using many commands to perform this task, I can perform the task once and then keep hitting the F4 key because the F4 key will repeat the last command you performed. So in this cell, on the word mean, I'm going to hit the two keys control tab. Now for standard deviation, median and range, instead of using the control and tab keys, I just have to hit the F4 key. I can do this for male and female also. Please note, not all commands or group of commands can be repeated with the F4 key. However, many can, and that can make formatting your document much easier. And that is the end of this lesson, Shift F3 and F4 key.